guys, it's Bear from Combat Loaded. Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to make this HUD I got here. Real basic HUD, it's nothing fancy, doesn't have any kind of graphical overlay or anything. Just has your temperature and food and water added. And you'll notice above the toolbar, the tool belt, that I have a level progression bar, but we're not going to cover that in this video. That's a little more advanced. We'll just uh, cover the basic uh, food and water and your temperature HUD. It's pretty easy. We'll walk you through it. So we're going to go to navigate to your Windows file here. Uh, go to your hard drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, seven days, data, config, XUI and Windows is what we're after. We're going to make a copy of this and paste it on our desktop for a backup. I already have it there, so it's asking me if I want to replace it. You won't get that. And then we're going to go ahead and open it up. Um, so then, so what we're looking at here is your stamina bar, your health bar, and the buff pop-out list, which is that thing that pops up and says you're infected, blah, blah, blah. So we will have to change the height of both of these since we're adding two rows to this one. And this will need to be moved up because it will overlap with the new rows. So we're going to add three, four, three, I guess is what we wanted. Three lines here. And we're going to open up the link in the description, which is this. And we're just going to copy everything in here. Uh, these are comments here. We're probably going to have to fix the... Oh, not too bad. Okay. So we're going to just line everything back up. Move all our comments over so they're easier to see. So these comments will show you where we started. So we got your, your stamina and health, which are vanilla. And then begin food and water mod. So then we got food bar here. And this just is going to look exactly like these, except for it's going to have an icon that's the food icon. It's going to have a little fork or whatever. And then I changed the color of the bar content to be green for the food. Um, and the water's the same way. The game already knows these values. These already exist. We don't have to define these anywhere. Because if you open up your character stats, you can see your food and water bars in there. So we're just referencing them from there in a different area, which is the HUD on your screen. Now if we scroll down here and look at the core temp HUD, um, it's the same kind of thing. The game already knows uh, what your temperature is. So we're just calling it in here and displaying it as a bar on the screen. So you can either download that file. I think I had it on the same thing. Yes, this file here. If you download this. Oh, this is this is the whole file. So you can download that and replace your Windows XML with this. You'll have to rename it because I named it Windows Modded. Or you can copy and paste this entire thing. Or you can just do what we're, we're doing here and copy and paste the bits of code that you need. This is important if you've already got other mods going on in here. Because then you can add these in quite easily. So we're going to want to just save that. And we'll close everything out. Including this. And we'll go ahead and boot up seven days. Yes. And we can pick any old game as long as it's local because we only modified local files. You can put this on a server. You just wipe your Windows XML file and put this one in. This is the best way to test things. I do all my testing locally and then push my files to the server to overwrite them. It's much faster to test this way than uh, restart a server. So we're just going to continue any old game. I have one for testing.
We don't need to wipe the world or anything like that because these files are referenced every time you play the game. So just restarting the game is enough to update your HUD. If you did anything with prefabs or environment, then you would have to restart the world. So you can see we have food, the green bar, water with the blue bar, and we got our temperature on the right side there. Um, one thing we did not go over though, is if we open up that Windows file that we just edited, oh sorry, not that one, this one, um, we'll need to change our HUD position. Uh, you want the left stat bars window to be 9 and 190. 9 is already there, just change this to 190 and then come down here and we'll change the buff pop out list to be at 210 because we'll need to raise this up and raise this up to allow for the two new bars here and you can see that everything worked out just fine. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. We'll see you later.